When we implemented um, CityWorks back in 2002, um, the two departments that were involved were our Public Works Department and our Park Rec Marine. When they were looking at work order systems, um, they knew part, they understood what GIS could do and they, they had it as a requirement that it needed to be integrated, um, especially for address verification. I think when they saw CityWorks, it opened up a whole new env um, environment, a whole new realm of what they can do with GIS. And then GIS in integration with the work order system became all the more critical. It became all the more powerful. It wasn't the first um, highest priority, but it became an integral role in the work order system as we move forward. The company was also willing to work with us to make additional interfaces and links with us. We can actually customize it to meet everything that the city needed. And they actually went in and looked at the type of work that the staff was taking care of. And they realized that the staff was doing more than um, one type of job or skill set. And um, as an example, a staff member wasn't just one who did carpentry, but would do carpentry and electrical work and other type of stuff. And the City Works exposed how much our staff are skilled and able to do and meet those needs. That was not expected when we, so when we were going for a work order system. The work order system saved us a lot of money. In Long Beach, we have uh, probably hundreds of special events, but there's some large special events that go on in the city of Long Beach. There's the Long Beach Grand Prix, there's the Long Beach Marathon, um, there's our Gay um, Pride Festival and Parade. Those um, are long-term projects that have multiple work orders assigned to them. When we go down to do our billing or to show our effort, we're able to um, pull all the work orders within that project and get a true summary of the work that was performed for that event. Um, there's hundreds of man hours, um, thousands of dollars of materials that need to be recouped from um, those event organizers. Without the data to support that um, in our billing process, um, that's information that's gathered from CityWorks, we're able to give them a true sense, and ourselves a true sense, of the costs that were spent in providing our service. Our 14 employees do a lot of work, but we never had the ability to record it or show it. Now, somebody says, hey, what did you do last year? Click, 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 here's my report, here you go. We, we did 6,000 work orders, and here's our man hours, and here's what we spent. And you cannot get as efficient as that, and we would have never been able to get there without CityWorks. The marinas, basically, what we have is we have two marinas. We have one in downtown, and we have one in Alameda's Bay, which is the southern part of our city. Not only do we have the docks that we handle, but all of the issues regarding restrooms, buildings, walkways, drinking fountains, everything that is that affects the livelihood of those that live there and those that work there. We have a lot of companies that have businesses there. Our staff is responsible not only for the docks themselves, but also for the water. Uh, we keep it um, litter-free. We, we take care of the navigations, the system. Uh, the GIS program has helped us so much in identifying the locations of each of our buoys out there because it's our job to make sure that we keep all our waterways safe uh, per the Coast Guard um, regulations to make sure that any boat owner is coming in at night has the lighting, has the buoys to give them a safe entry and exit of our harbors. The Long Beach Marinas are the world's largest municipally owned marinas with three marinas, over 3,800 boat slips. We try to maintain our marinas in the same fashion as you would see from a property owner's uh, perspective as we have liveaboards that live on a boat as well as weekenders that come out on weekends and holidays to recreate. Uh, the way we typically get a service call is it will go through our marine agent's office or they can call our office directly and we'll have someone go out making an inspection. Uh, some of your typical repairs could be the slips, uh, you get cracks in the boards to where it's not as stable as we would like them to be, so we got to get out and firm them up to make sure all safety and aspects of the marina is maintained at a high level. You know, our job is to take care of the public, and when you have the tool that helps you do that, uh, it's, it's a win-win for all of us.